This is a chilling narrative of divine vengeance and celestial might that is found in the records of ancient history and the holy scriptures. It is a horrific description of a heavenly power that wreaked havoc on a massive army, killing 185,000 warriors in one night that has been told down the ages. The great Assyrian Empire besieged the land of Judah in the middle of the 8th century BC. Assyrian King Sennacherib wanted to take Jerusalem, the crown gem of Judah, and subjugate its populace. Sennacherib lay siege to the city, causing fear and despair in the hearts of its citizens with his unwavering determination and his army's apparent invincibility. The sky in the celestial realm quavered at the sight of Judah's situation. When the Almighty saw the suffering of his people, he made the decision to act. He sent out an angel of unmatched power and fury, tasked with taking divine vengeance on the invading army. This angel, whose name was known only to the divine realm, fell like a bolt of lightning upon the Assyrian camp. Even the most courageous soldiers would shudder in fear when they saw the angel, who was covered in ethereal armor that shone with an otherworldly light. The angel entered the camp covertly, making his way through the maze of tents and dozing troops while the moon hung high in the pitch black sky. The celestial entity glided undetectedly toward the center of Sennacherib's command with superhuman stealth and accuracy. The angel was suddenly attracted by a gentle murmur that resounded throughout the darkness. It was the voice of a young Assyrian soldier named Asher, coming out of the darkness. Asher had rejected his allegiance to Sennacherib with a quivering heart after becoming deeply moved by compassion for the people of Judah. He had put his life in danger in order to notify the angel of the king's evil schemes. The angel stretched a hand towards Asher, bestowing him with an ethereal light. Grateful for this unexpected ally Asher was entrusted with leading the angel across the vast camp and taking them to the center of Sennacherib's army while being protected from injury. The angel brandished a divine sword that blazed with celestial fire, unleashing a torrent of wrath. The cacophony of screaming and the smell of blood roused the soldiers, who were still enmeshed in the grips of sleep. As the celestial assassin mercilessly slaughtered the Assyrian troops one by one, their formerly formidable ranks were shattered and devastated, and chaos broke out. The angel evolved throughout that terrible night into a tool of divine justice, an unstoppable force that put an end to the lives of 185,000 warriors. A loud testament to the devastating power that the angel had unleashed was the cries of agony and despair that reverberated throughout the earth. The battlefield was covered in the dead at first light, creating a harrowing scene of destruction. The once powerful Assyrian army lay defeated and dismantled. Sennacherib was left to maul on the divine vengeance that had befallen his realm after realizing the gloomy situation. The ancient Assyrian monarch Sennacherib was a man of extraordinary ambition, unwavering tenacity, and unrivaled military prowess. Both his allies and his enemies were fascinated by his charismatic presence as he battled to take control of the prized city of Jerusalem. Born within a line of rulers, Sennacherib succeeded his father King Sargon II to the throne. It serves as a reminder that even in the face of insurmountable obstacles, good can triumph and justice may be carried out using the most remarkable methods. The ancient Assyrian monarch Sennacherib was a man of extraordinary ambition, unwavering tenacity, and unrivaled military prowess. Both his allies and his enemies were fascinated by his charismatic presence as he battled to take control of the prized city of Jerusalem. Born within a line of rulers, Sennacherib succeeded his father King Sargon II to the throne. Sennacherib made a persistent assault on Jerusalem's formidable walls with a sizable army under his command. His siege engines battered the city's walls, swaying the defenders' determination. But despite being surrounded by imposing fortifications, King Hezekiah and his subjects stood firm in their resolve and unflinching in their faith. Sennacherib's charismatic personality emerged as the siege drew on. He wasn't just a harsh conqueror, he also had the clever ability to influence people's hearts and minds. He used his eloquent charm to send messengers to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, offering them wealth, safety, and a prosperous life in exchange for their surrender. 
some found Sennacherib's statements to be resonant as they began to harbor concerns about Jerusalem's capacity to withstand Assyria's force. Hezekiah, however, remained unwavering, boosting the spirits of his people by reminding them of their divine mission and the power of their unified spirit. Sennacherib continued to unleash his armies with increased ferocity, unfazed by the rebellious king and his steadfast subjects. In order to cut off Jerusalem's essential supply routes and cut it off from the outside world, gave the order for a barrage of projectiles to rain down on the city. Was Sennacherib's attractive charisma striking fear into the minds of those who still held out hope, it appeared as though the city's demise was predetermined. But it seems like fate had other plans in mind. An unforeseen development occurred as Sennacherib basked in the excitement of his impending victory. His troops were swiftly and mercilessly decimated when a mystery sickness raced through the Assyrian camp. Sennacherib felt fear for the first time seeping through his veins as panic swept through the ranks of his previously unstoppable army. Sennacherib's charismatic character changed when he was forced to withdraw his army and flee from Jerusalem, becoming one of wounded pride and roiling rage. He vowed to exact revenge on Jerusalem and promised to come back much stronger to crush the unbreakable spirit that had resisted him. Sennacherib, the ambitious and ruthless king of Assyria, was a charismatic figure who forever left his stamp on history. Even though his attempt to take Jerusalem was unsuccessful, his legacy stood as a reminder of the greatness of the ancient world's last great empire. This strange story that is veiled in the enigmatic presence of a heavenly force is told in the depths of ancient texts. The narrative describes a terrifying night in which 185,000 Syrian troops were killed, their lives snuffed out by an unidentified, mighty celestial creature. This story urges us to set out on an intriguing adventure of discovery as we try to figure out who this mysterious angel is. When the world was shrouded in darkness, Assyria, a monarchy, ruled with unsurpassed strength. A trail of vanquished kingdoms was left in their wake as its soldiers, led by King Sennacherib, stormed across the continent. The last line of defense against Sennacherib's ruthless approach was Jerusalem, a city he wanted. Fear swept over the people of Jerusalem as the Assyrian army closed in. But there was still a gleam of optimism among the sorrow. There were rumors circulating among the people that an angel, a holy warrior, would come to their rescue when they were in trouble. The angel, shrouded in ethereal light and without a name recorded in history, descended from the sky. His outstretched wings covered the landscape with a captivating radiance. His face, concealed by a celestial helmet, remained a mystery, serving as the backdrop for many stories. This celestial warrior had unmatched strength, and just being around him could frighten humans to death. He was armed with a divinely powered sword that could wreak havoc on the forces of evil while wearing heavenly armor. The unseen angel moved through the darkness unnoticed by mortal sight as the tragic night progressed. His goal was crystal clear, to defend the defenseless, to defend the upright, and to inflict divine vengeance upon the oppressors. The Syrian soldiers slept in their tent, oblivious to the celestial avengers coming vengeance. The angel moved forward silently as a nighttime whisper, unseen and unheard. The troops fell with each strike of his heavenly sword, their life power vanishing in a moment. As the angel continued his unrelenting attack, the smell of blood and desolation filled the night air. In the immensity of the galaxy, the cries of the dying were lost in the echoes of combat and the cries of the dying. The Syrian camp was in ruins as dawn came, with the dead remains of the fallen scattered over the battlefield. The unidentified angel returned to the ethereal world from which he had originally come after finishing his duty, leaving his identity forever veiled in mystery. Since then, historians and theologians have wondered who this cosmic force is. Some think it's the Archangel Michael, while others think it might be Gabriel, God's messenger. However, no clear solution has yet surfaced from the depths of antiquity, leaving the identity of the angel who killed 185,000 Syrian soldiers forever shrouded in mystery. As a result, the tale lives on as an intriguing mystery inscribed on the annals of time. 
It reminds us that celestial forces may intervene even in our darkest hours, their names remaining hidden but their impact lasting. It is a monument to the awesome power of the divine. Thank you for your support.